Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I am extremely disappointed that we're taking up a bill that would treat refugees like criminals, um, re-victimizing people who've already suffered unthinkable atrocities. Many of these refugees are women and children who are fleeing violent situations, and they're simply looking for a safe place to go. My amendment would strike the provisions, three provisions that taken together provide for three years of unfettered surveillance on admitted refugees, because as written, this legislation would really unleash the power to conduct unlimited surveillance on admitted refugees. The bill text contains no limiting factors, no reasonable triggers at all. Um, and it's not only a waste of limited resources, limited enforcement resources, but it also opens the door to systemic targeting of individuals, simply based on their membership of a particular group, in this case being refugees. This is so disappointing because it flies in the face of our constitutional traditions and our American values. And history will not look kindly on us if we adopt a stance that all refugees should be, sub should be subject to unfettered surveillance just because they belong to a certain class of people. We know during the 1950s, the FBI engaged in widespread surveillance of citizens from the gay community. Um, it placed a watch on gay bars and infiltrated civil society groups. During World War II, U.S. intelligence conducted widespread surveillance on Japanese Americans. Um, the intelligence reports were exculpatory, but they were kept secret from the American public. So despite the evidence, the public was conditioned to mistrust, and we ended up with a dark chapter in our history that eventually put innocent Americans into internment camps. And it continued to build that mistrust and um, rhetoric that definitely played on people's fears. So I urge my colleagues to support this amendment, which strikes the sections that s support three years of unlimited surveillance on admitted refugees to ensure that we do not let history repeat itself. Thank you, Mr. Chair, and I yield back.